If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Today we will learn that how you can find the equation of ellipse if you are given with the vertices and the eccentricity only. So we have the example where the coordinates of the vertices and eccentricity is given. So our step number one is first you have to find the major axis. Major axis can be found if you are if you are given with the uh, with the foci or vertices in the example. As we are given with the vertices, so let's see how you can find the major axis from it. As it is given that the coordinates of vertices are 0 and plus minus 5. Now what does it mean? It means we have some value of y axis, some value at y axis, but on x axis we have the value as 0. It means these vertices will lie on y axis rather than on the x axis. So vertices and the foci lie on major axis. So if we are given with the vertex that is on y axis it means the major axis will be y axis so we can easily uh, understand from here that if vertices lie on y axis this means major axis is y axis so we have the major axis as y axis then we move towards the step number two in step number two we have to decide which equation of ellipse is to be used so as it is clear from the vertices that the equation will be of the standard form of equation of the uh, will be used from the standard equation of the ellipse with center 0 0 rather than the shifted ellipse because we have the vertices that are symmetrical about the center so we can easily decide from the two equation of ellipse that is one is x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equals to one one equation of ellipse is this another is x square divided by b square plus y square over a square equals to 1. Now which equation of ellipse is to be used? It all depends on the major axis. As the major axis is y axis, so we have to use this equation of ellipse because we have the a in the denominator of y and a is always greater than b. We have to check which axis is the major axis on the basis of that we have to decide the equation of the ellipse. So this equation will be used. So we have to use this equation of ellipse for this. We must have the value of a and b. But uh, currently we don't have a and b. We have to find it. So we have to move towards the step number 3. So from, uh, from the example we are given with the value of the a. That is the number of units that are away from the center. That is 0. And the, so the value of a will be 5. Why? Because we have the vertex with 0 plus minus 5. It means vertex is at 5 units from the center 0, 0. So we can say that a is equals to 5. Now what is b? For b we have to use the um, uh, values from the eccentricity. That is e is basically equals to c divided by a. Its formula is c over a and in the question we are given with 3 over 5. So that means c is 3. So it means c is 3 and a is 5. So from a, here we can easily say that c is equals to 3. So once we have got a and c, we can easily find the b by using the focal length formula as c square is equals to a square minus b square. And what we have to find? We have to find b. So we have to isolate b on one side. What we will get is a square minus c square. a is 5 square minus what is uh, c? c is 3. So what we will get is 25 minus 9 is equals to 16. And if we take the square root on both sides we will get 4 so the value of b is equals to 4 now let's put a and b in equation 1 that is the standard equation of ellipse to find the equation of the ellipse with the given elements so let's put the value of a and b in, uh, in equation 1 as x square over a square plus y square over b square x square over b square plus y square over a square equals to 1 x square over b, b is 4 so it will be 4 square plus y square over a a is 5 equals to 1 so this is the required equation of ellipse with the given element in the example required equation of ellipse so that's all from today's lecture and this is how you can find the equation of the ellipse if you are given with vertices and the eccentricity thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you